Hi, my name is Kehinde Kuji Chagulia Seitu. AIDS has affected me in my lifetime. When I was younger, I had an uncle who was a wonderful, wonderful uncle, and I am a dance instructor for a living, and he was a dancer, and he inspired me to dance. And there are lots of times now that I wish he were still here so he could see me dance. Um, he was diagnosed with HIV when I was, I think, like nine, so might have been earlier, I'm not sure. Um, when I was nine was 1989, so this was in the 1980s, and he got really, really sick when I was about, he started to get sick when I was about 10. He got really sick um, right before I turned 11. And I had turned into full-blown AIDS, and then he passed away um, right after my 11th birthday, which was in 1991. And that was my first experience with AIDS. I didn't know anything about it. I just knew that there was this thing called HIV and AIDS, and my uncle got sick, and then it killed him. So after that, I became very aware of the disease, and when I was about 13... 12 or 13, my godfather was diagnosed with HIV, um, my god sister's dad, and because I already knew about it, I was told before, my god sisters were told that their dad had it. He stayed healthy for a long time. He didn't start getting sick until I was about 17 or 18. Um, so I think at that time it was around 1997 or 1998. He started getting really sick in 1999 and having to go back and forth to the hospital. Um, but then later we found out that he was diagnosed much earlier, around 1988, I believe. And he didn't start to get very, very ill until maybe 2003 or four, and he lived until 2008 so between 2000 and maybe six and 2008 he was very ill he passed away at the end of 2008 so he was able to live with the disease for about 20 years um, as opposed to my uncle who only lived a, a few years but dealing with HIV and AIDS with two people who are really close to me has made me very, very aware of the disease. When I was younger, um, as a, in my early 20s, I was not always as careful um, sexually as I should have been. Thank God I am um, negative, but as an adult now, I am very, very um, proactive with my health. I know what to do and how to protect myself. I'm trying to instill in my children when they become older to be able to take uh, take charge over their bodies and their health as well. They did not experience it the way that I did because uh, my daughter was only three when my godfather passed away, I, th I believe three or four. No, maybe four. She was younger. She remembers him, but she doesn't remember him being sick all the time. And neither one of my kids have ever met my uncle because he passed when I was younger. So it it was hard dealing with it, but I know what it is, and so I'm aware of it. I know how to protect myself, and I'm glad that they haven't had to deal with it the way that I have because I became a caretaker for my godfather going back and forth to the hospital, helping him clean up and, and cleaning up blood. And, I mean, it was, it was bad, and I'm glad that they didn't have to go through that, but at the same time, because they are not experiencing it the way that I did, they're not as aware. So I, my hope for the next generation is that while every, you know, people are living longer with the disease and while it's not as bad as it was in the 80s or maybe even the 90s, my hope for the next generation is that they will be aware, even though it, it, it is still definitely an epidemic, but when it first hit in the 80s, they were saying that by the year 2000, most of the world will be infected by the disease, and that hasn't happened. So I'm grateful for that, and I hope that my story, um, me sharing my story, has been able to help somebody else.